Hello and welcome back to the Old Gold and Black YouTube channel. I'm Tom Rouse and today I am going to be doing my Premier League predictions for the forthcoming season. Now, I'm not going to predict every position like some YouTubers do because between about 7th and 15th, those sort of teams could finish anywhere. You may as well throw some bits of paper in the air and pick them in that order. So I'm not going to do them, but I'm going to do the relegation places, the top four places, and I'm going to do a dark horse and a flop for the season as well. So, in relegation places, finishing bottom of the table, I think it's going to be Huddersfield Town. Although they have spent a fair bit of money on players like Tom Ince and Mui from Manchester City, which they had last season, I don't think they've got enough depth in their squad to stay in the, in the Premier League. I think I can't see them getting more than 25 points purely because of the, depth, the lack of depth that they've got and the lack of quality. They overperformed massively last season. And it's not even as if... They're coming into the Premier League on the crest of a wave. They stopped playing for the last couple of games of the season. They scraped through the playoffs against Sheffield Wednesday and then Reading. I don't think that they are good enough. I don't think the manager is particularly good enough. Although he did manage to do a great job last season. Can he do that again? I don't think so. In 19th place, I've got Burnley. I think I like Sean Dyche. I like Burnley as a football club. They're a traditional old founder member of the Football League. But I think their away form last season is going to, if that continues this season, they're going to be in a massive, massive struggle as the season goes on. They've lost Michael Keane as well, their um, star player from last season. If they can keep hold of Andre Gray, perhaps that would be a positive for them. But they're in a similar position now to what Swansea were last season when they lost Ashley Williams. They haven't really replaced him, and I can see that being a really, really negative thing for them and when your biggest sign is Jack Cork and that just speaks volumes in 18th place I've gone for Bournemouth I really don't like them as a football club I it's probably out of jealousy but the fact that a tin pot club like that with no history no ground no fans no atmosphere at the ground the fact that they are in the Premier League and it seems like Wolves and Leeds and Forest and not is really really annoying for me and I, I thought last season they would go down but they managed to stay up by the skin of their teeth. Adding Jermaine Defoe, I think he's a good signing for them. Uh, as well, Begovic and Ake are decent players. But I just, I just, this is the one that I hope go down. I don't think they will. I think really they will stay up. But I hope that Bournemouth go down. Now onto the top four. I've got Arsenal to finish in fourth place. Now they're playing in the Europa League, which is going to be a real test for their squad. Playing on a Thursday and Sunday throughout the season is really tough going. We've seen teams really struggle when they have been in that competition. But they've added Lacazette, who hopefully for Arsenal will be a good goal scorer, which they've needed for a long, long time. Uh, if they can hold on to Sanchez as well, who hasn't been playing a lot in pre-season because he's been ill. And Ozil as well, who's out of contract at the end of the year. Those two are key for their success this season. If they, I would imagine... That Wenger will be resting them in the Europa League matches to play in the Premier League. That's their most important thing at the moment, is to finish in that top four again. And I think that Wenger will. I think the fact that he signed these two extra years is determined to get them up to a position where they can challenge for the title next season. I can't see that this season, but I certainly think that they will be challenging for fourth place again. The third of one for Chelsea. I think Conte is going to struggle this season. I think he's really got to try hard to keep hold of the dressing room. I think we've seen already there have been times the way that he's dealt with the Costa situation and him wanting to leave. He's got to be very delicate. and We've already seen that that dressing room is quite powerful if he doesn't get on with a manager. We saw two years ago with Mourinho, they turned their backs on him and he went. With John Terry leaving as well, perhaps that sort of leader and the sort of Chelsea legend status holding together a dressing room, that being taken away could affect them as well. So it'd be interesting to see what happens at Chelsea this season. But they've signed some great players, Bakayoko, Morato and Rudiger, added to the players that they've got already there. They've got a very, very strong team, but I just think that the manager and the dressing room are the key elements for this season, and I don't think that they're going to be able to mount such a strong challenge for the title next season. In second place and first place, it was quite tight for me. I... Have gone for Manchester United in second place. They've added a lot of good players, Lukaku and Matic, recently as well. There's been rumours that they're going to re sign Ibrahimovic, although he was out of contract at the end of last season. When he comes back from his injury, that could add 
some you know some real attacking force to their squad but you've got players like uh, Bailly and Rashford and Lingard all another year older a little bit more experienced and they are going to become top players in the next couple of years so it's important that they hit the ground running as well De Gea if they can keep hold of him stop him going to Real Madrid he's going to be an important sign uh, not signing but important to keep him I think that Mourinho is clever enough to adapt the squad and the formation and the tactics that he's been using to be able to just push them a little bit closer towards that title. But I don't think they're going to win it this season. But I do think that Manchester City are going to win the title this season. I think Guardiola has had a year now to look at his squad and to trim down what he doesn't like and add what he does like. There are still a couple of question marks over the goalkeeping role at Manchester City. They've added to their defence a lot, which is what they've needed They've brought in some players for massive amounts of money. They've spent an awful lot of money on defenders, which is what they need. I reckon they probably need one more sort of creative midfielder or a replacement for Yaya Torre, who I imagine this is going to be his last year, really. I think Aguero, if he can continue the form that he had last season, and Jesus, if he can continue as well in the with the promise that he showed at the end of last season, he could be something really, really special. Now for my flop of the season. I think that Tottenham Hotspur are really going to struggle this season. Not playing at White Hart Lane, playing all their games at Wembley is going to be difficult for them. Not only because they've had poor form there recently, but because every team that goes there is going to see it as a massive occasion and want to win. So that's going to be really, really tricky for Spurs to deal with. Also playing in the Champions League, we've seen Tottenham in the past struggling when they've been playing in Europe. They haven't added any place to their squad either at the moment. They're still quite a long way left in the transfer window but lots of top teams have done their business early my dark horses for this season are going to be West Ham West Ham have signed a couple of good players Zabaleta, Hart and Hernandez as well as Arnautovic all players with Premier League experience I think that the the ground is going to be less of a problem this year I think all the players who played last year are going to feel comfortable in it and the players who are coming from elsewhere are used to playing in big stadiums. I think the West Ham fans as well that will create a better atmosphere this season as well, Being I just have them to accept that that's their ground now and it's not the best ground for football, but it's their ground. They're going to have to get on with it. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. Let me know what you think about the Premier League and my predictions. Do you think I'm going to be right? What are your predictions? Who do you think is going to win the league this year? Who do you think is going to get relegated? Who do you think is going to miss out on the top four spot? I didn't mention Liverpool then. I think that Champions League football is going to be bad for them and they're going to end up finishing outside of the top four. And if you enjoyed the video, drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.